On this week's edition of Adagio TV, I am joined by my eccentric and friendly cameraman, Brian, Ooh. while I drink tea out of a martini glass. I can get Brian a nice coffee right away. I'll do a vanilla iced coffee. You want, you want an iced coffee? You sure? Yeah. You sure you? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Right. As we review tea, you order a coffee. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Are we going to go outside and do it? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. Go Kristen Bartlett blended up a tea that inspired me to come out and enjoy the delights of a snow cone. A martini glass is the number one thing to serve a snow cone out of. Don't ask me, that's just what happens when you Google martini glass plus snow cone with the addition sign. Tiger's Blood is a mixture of 30% vanilla, 60% rooibos vanilla, and 10% cherry. That means there's a lot of rooibos in this tea. That means there's a little bit of black tea. Um, when, when I looked at it at first, I was afraid that it was gonna have uh, too much of that just normal rooibos tasting overhaul. But then I told myself, Zach, why don't you try the tea first? So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so first off, it's super hot out here. This tastes nothing like the original flavor, tiger's blood, that goes into a snow cone. A, because all the ice is pretty much melted because it's so hot out here. B, because it's not full of sugar and it doesn't look like the blood of a tiger. Uh, that being said, this is really tasty. I don't get much of a flavor besides rooibos. That's because there's so much rooibos in the tea. I feel like there should have been more vanilla that was based on black, more cherry that was based on black, but it's really light and crisp and refreshing. I wouldn't want to drink this hot because the rooibos flavor would overpower it too much versus the flavoring coming into it. The point of this tea is it tastes like tiger's blood. Now the cherry and the vanilla could be stronger if the black tea was stronger, but in this case it's fine to do it outside and it's fine to do it chilled because the coolness sort of overtakes everything and a lot of the water has diluted the flavor and it's just a really nice Refreshing drink, really, actually, it's pretty good. The more I drink it, like the bigger gulps you take, you can taste more of the cherry. The vanilla is inherently enhanced with the rooibos. It tastes like it blends with the rooibos pretty well. But the cherry is just too light. I want a little bit more cherry and maybe a little bit more vanilla. But that was the reason she put so much rooibos, because she wanted it a little lighter for the whole tiger's bloody taste. She didn't want it black and heavy. That said, it works. It's not the most amazing it could be, but it works. Christian, you did an awesome job, and um, I'm excited to drink the rest of this. As always, guys, you know you can reach me at Zach at Adagio.com. There you can send me your tea submissions, ideas for other teas, which just so happens to be a tea submission, as well as questions in the line of tea submissions. Splashing with the martini glass, that's how we do it on Adagio Teas. If you'd like to know if we're shooting in your city or near a coffee house of yours, or if we're going to hydrate a snow coat stand and drive it around the town, you can find out by following us on Twitter at Adagio Teas, and you can find me at Zach Louie. Until next time, my friends, drink tea of a martini glass. That means those bugs are loud. Yeah.